Hello Leo, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for December 21st to January 4th. And for all my old subscribers, um, could you please hit the like? As you know, it does help my videos to get out there and I'll try to remember to ask you at the end of the video for you new viewers to hit the like if it resonated. And uh, December 29th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, there will be a live stream for the first anniversary of the journey home. You can ask questions. I'll pull cards. And I hope to see a few of you there. So we have uh, for the fairy oracles to start with is Geo the Slow and the Topsy Turvy Gang. This is about uh, you needing to go slow because... Uh, it looks like you're having to deal with a lot of people, your gaggle of people, family, friends, could be like uh, season celebrations. And a lot of these people could be coming forward, um, demanding your attention or asking uh, your opinion or advice or would you do this or can we do that? And you're needing to go slow right now. Maybe too much busyness going on. Your Shaman Oracle deck, beautiful, two cards came up, the Crow and the Owl, which is, of course, about wisdom. The Crow is about spirituality, your uh, spirit guide, uh, feeding. It, it's You're probably being downloading messages from the spirit world at this time, uh, feeding some information to you, feeding some wisdom to you. Uh, this is very, very powerful spiritual energy. It's almost like you're the uh, you're the magic man, Leo. You're you're able to uh, manifest the things that you want uh, with the wisdom that you have. Um, it looks like a leveling up for you. But let's get on with the tarot Zord zodiac portion. All cards have been pre-shuffled. Ace of Air. This is a brand new beginning. One that begins in truth, clarity, no baggage from the past, no negativities, painting a new canvas, a new reality. After walking away from something or someone or people, you're working on yourself, working on your pentacles, just focusing on, on work. Uh, but you needed to walk away from a situation. Uh, you're being faced with a decision that needs to be made which has its surrounding reunion or celebration. There's some mystery here. An offer of love coming in. Waiting for your ships to come in. You were stuck, but you're, you've ripped off that blindfold to see through any illusions. And in doing that, when you ripped off that blindfold to look at the reality of things, it brought in a tower moment for you. Uh, there, some some hidden things came to light, and this caused a, a grief in you, and it could have been over a soulmate. However, I do see a soulmate coming in for you. But right now, you're needing to. You're very much needing to work on yourself, work on your independence, your own capabilities, being self-sufficient. Could it be, Leo, that there was an offer of love that came in that you thought, oh my gosh, my, my ships are coming in, and then you realize that they, they were being untruthful or hiding some things to you? Because this tower moment shows you in a grief period. It, uh, whatever it was, it hurt, and it shook you to the foundation. But tower moments are always necessary because it's spirit stepping in saying, you need to build on a solid foundation. This will not stand if it's not built solidly and it looks like it was pertaining to a soulmate there could be a breakup here I don't think that's it's showing you have a lot of options in front of you and but I don't see you being too confused I think you already know what the choice is this could be you Leo uh, going after what you want and being very passionate about it 
And it could be someone coming towards you who's very passionate and you're healing from past heartache, working on self. I mean, for those of you who are not breaking up, this could have been childhood issues that are being resurfaced that you have to look at or needing to heal. You need to make a decision about uh, some dishonest action. Uh, being revealed. A reunion maybe got cancelled. And you're needing to make a decision even though things, you know, seem very clouded and I think there was some secrets that needed to come to the light. This offer of love coming in here, this person sees you as an empress, someone who is nurturing, loving, knows uh, how to run an empire. Your ship's coming in that you're waiting for. You're, you're waiting for traditional commitment. And... Oh, wow. Okay, Leo, you're finding, for some of you, um, what's going to unstick you is an offer of love from a, a new love or a renewal of love. Some of you may be turning down this offer. Or some of you uh, ripped off the mask and said this offer was bogus. There was some dishonesty here. But this tower moment is going to lead you to your soulmate, your two of cups. The grief period that you went through it seemed to last a long time, but you are on the path you're supposed to be on. Uh, needing to stand your ground for what you have gained. And for those of you who are single, you're not going to be single much longer if you're waiting for a soulmate. This is wish fulfillment. Nice. I'm going to do some clarifying before I go to the other side. I'd like to know. Who's coming towards Leo? Another Leo? Perhaps you're going towards someone to make your feelings known? Um, someone made you feel left out in the cold. So you're trying to move towards uh, reconciliation and finding a difficult time. However, this offer of love coming in is from someone who sees you as refreshing, as someone who, who knows what they want. And they want a commitment with you. What about a past person? If there is an ex that Leo is dealing with, where do they stand with the ex? How does this ex feel about Leo? How does this ex feel about Leo? They see you as the empress. They don't want to lie, cheaters, hide anything from you anymore if they did in the past. They want to work on this relationship with you. So on that note, we're going to go over to the extended reading. They're only $10, but they give you it gives you access to all of the Zodiacs, the week ahead and the weekend forecasts, as well as cheaper personal readings for the members as a thank you. December 29th is the live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Times. I time i hope you guys join me uh, i'll be pulling cards for questions being asked and we also have a facebook page so hopefully we will see you over there see you on the other side leo bye for now